Sean Williams. This dude was getting all of the picks in NFL Street, too. That is... I want to take a gamble on him since he did so well in NFL Street, too. I, I don't really go out much back there because I don't live there. What a pick. He did it again. He did it again. Sean Williams did it again. Street 1 and Street 2. What's up, you guys? Street Tomato here once again. Right back at it with NFL Street 1. We're going to jump right into it here. Today is Saturday, December 23rd, 2023. Turn my game down so that there's not any bleed. All right. Yes, it is two days away from Christmas. And... I'm actually going to do a draft game, pickup game. So I want to pick first, but I'm always going to do random. Are we going to get pick or are we going to get ball? Let's see. I'm going to get ball first. So they're going to pick. They just took Peyton Manning. You know, it's funny. I just watched a documentary on Peyton Manning last night um, when I got home. Or was it? Yeah, it was last night. Um, and I'll tell you all about... <coughs> kind of what's been going on recently but first we're gonna draft oh there's more than that okay so oh man lt if i don't take him first they're gonna take him but i'm afraid they're gonna take someone i just had my eye on yep yep that's that's what i was worried about i mean we still have Corey dillon so but hmm. let's go to um, defensive backs. Sean Springs. I think we'll do that just in case. Yep, uh, I saw that one coming. I had my eye on him. Sheesh, man, the computer does not let up. I guess this means I get first pick at receiver, too. I want the absolute best catching, but I also need decent speed. Uh, I was going to say he's a tight end, isn't he? Um, yeah, that's my best bet right there. I also get my pick at O-line, so that works. That Peyton Manning documentary made me uh, tear up a little bit. It was on YouTube. It was really cool. I think it was fan-made, but it was really put, really well put together. Um, I guess we'll go Olin Krutz. And I need a quarterback and a running back. That's it. Uh, you know, in that documentary, it talked about how his, one of his greatest rivalries was Tom Brady and Tom Brady put this man out of a job in New England, Drew Bledsoe. So I have respect for Drew Bledsoe. He took it like a champ, but Tom also filled some pretty big shoes because Bledsoe wasn't a slouch during his time in New England. Uh, we'll go Corey Dillon and that should finish it off. Oh wait, that's right. We need one more. Who do we not have? We need another lineman. Mm, damn, that really bothers me that they took uh, McFarlane. All right. Uh, we'll go another classic EA field. Why not? All right, guys. You know the drill. First to 36, as always. It's always risky to pass first play, so we're going to run it. Ugh, that's a solid lineup. Those are not probably guys you think of in this game as like... Oh, oh I tried to pull him back. 
those aren't guys you think of as probably like S tier players, right? Or even A plus players. You probably think of some of these guys as like B plus players, but they're incredible B plus players. Oh man, what a block. We barely got that pass off. And kind of risky. By the time I had thrown it, he had caught up on the coverage. Look at that block by Corey Dillon. That was perfect. All right, we'll go crosses for two. Let's see if I still got it. Yes, I do. We'll start with some coverage, something I usually don't do. I think they're going to run it again. They did. Jeez, man. I'd say I'm in an okay mood today, guys. Um, so last time we talked, I believe Wednesday, the IRS had given me a call and they were auditing me. So that was frustrating. Um... Thursday was badass. Um, the issue is th with Thursday, though, is that I canceled out all the good that came from it last night on Friday. So I'll get into both of those in here in a second. Let's see if we can stop this third in inches. I, I doubt it, but we'll see. Yo, oh, he pitched that. That's okay. Now it's fourth and short. We drove him back a little bit. I feel like they're going to run it. You got that one man out wide. Yeah, trick play run. LT, baby! LT, you can't run past him like that. Don't play with us. Don't play with us. Peyton can't cover that. I'm sorry. It's just not happening. Oh, get off of me, baby! Get off of me! Easy. Easy money. Oh, he dove. He got desperate. All right, 16 to nothing. You know what? I'll play as Corey on the man-to-man -man coverage. That didn't work out. Oh, LT got desperate. He's the one that dove this time. Oh, man. That's going to be a score. Put six on the board, gentlemen. That's valid. All right, definitely a pass. If they run it here, they're dumb. Yeah, okay. We got burned on that one. That's okay. All right. The score just got cut in half. Mm -hmm. Let's go play action drag. What in the world? Your extra blocker, and we'll go right through. That was a good block, Sean. That was a good block. That's another great block. Can I get the stiff arm? I can. Wow, what a play! Team effort. It's so underrated in this game, but blocking makes all of the difference in your plays. I promise you. Yes, you can scramble like this, but one good block is all you need to make a play. It doesn't matter if you're running or passing. How did he catch that? That's nuts. I just want to see that again. So I, I kind of threw a risky play there because everyone else was covered. Oh, nice. Got his hands out there. All right, Corey, run it in for a score. Here we go. Two points. Wide open. Right in the corner. Another passing play. Let's rush Peyton Manning here. Oh, I got... Oh, my God. 
Why are my defenders diving so early, dude? Before I get the chance to switch to them. I mean, okay, I dive early a lot too, but... That was me as Sean Springs right there that got faked out of my living daylights. Oh my gosh. That was a good spin move. They took a nasty boy at uh, running back Ahmed Green. I didn't hit him because I thought he was going to pitch it. All right, computer's gaining up on us. Man. Oh, whatever. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, Peyton, show him your magic. Or, uh, Drew, Drew Bledsoe. I'm still stuck on Peyton Manning, man. That was such a great documentary. Ah, oh, I cannot catch a ball right now. Go fake pitch, second and second and somewhat long. Ha, <laughs> just fell over. All right, first down. Oh, oh. Corey, Corey. That was gross, man. You just you just shoved off like three of them. All right, let's see what Coles can do with the ball. Oh, that was gross. No. Oh. Ooh, thank you, Sean. Sean's the MVP of this game. I'm calling it. I get one pick with him, and I, I guarantee you he gets MVP. He's been put in work. He got the touchdown for the fumble recovery. He uh, He's had a few good tackles. And he's been blocking like crazy, dude. I don't want to use this game breaker, man. It doesn't feel fair. It's going to end like this. Oh, but they're about to get theirs. Maybe I should. Maybe I should wait. I'll wait till they get theirs if they get it this drive. And then I'll just have them cancel mine out with theirs. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to use it now. And then they're going to cancel theirs. Sweet. All right, I want Sean Springs to get a pick, man. Why did I just bounce off of him? Why did I just bounce off of him twice? Oh. I kind of just want to enjoy the game before I get into the day, guys. It's been a... Uh... Well, the rest of the week, I guess. So, let me just end this one right here. No? I thought I could uh, flex on him all the way downfield. All right. But for real, we're going to try and get this one in the bags real quick. Oh. Oh, I made one good catch, finally. First and short. What a block. Was that a, technically a pull? Did Kroots pull there? I guess it's hard to pull when you don't really have guards or tackles. You just have linemen. But that's game regardless. 37-21. You guys know that Peyton Manning actually changed his number from 14 to 18 in high school because of his brother. His brother got diagnosed with some disease. And so he had to retire from football I think before college or right before the draft or something. I don't remember, um, but one of those. And so when Peyton went into college, he changed his number from 14 to 18. I thought that was cool. Um, I kind of want to go another pickup game. That was fun. I guess I better pick a side. Worked out. David Patton, I forgot he was in this game. No disrespect, just forgot about him. I'd say this is a solid draft. 
Not a lot of huge names, but a lot of good players regardless. The issue is I don't know who I would take first. Because there's quite a few good players, and I feel like I'm going to make a mistake regardless. The computer's ruthless, dude. The computer will snatch everyone up. Like, see, I want to take Troy Hambrick here. Because I run the ball a lot. But I don't want to take Charles Woodson. Okay. They took Jeff Garcia, out of all things. Well, that's GG's for them. Because I'm going to stomp on them now. Yeah, I don't even care. I'm going to... Was it Zach Thomas that I wanted or Junior Seau? Seau had better tackling, but Zach Thomas was a little more rounded off. All right. A Dolphin versus a Dolphin. This will be interesting. First pick at the D-line. I really wish they would have done better with the speed in this game on these receivers. It's almost just better to take a defensive back because they're just as fast, if not faster. And yeah, they have less catching, but really once you're in the yellow, you're fine. Especially when they have all that coverage, it really just doesn't matter. I just can't believe, like, see, like, this guy right here, I think his catching is solid. But anything less, I really don't feel like is good. Like, that's ridiculous. There are defensive backs with catching that good, you know? All right, enough chitter-chatter. Let me finish this draft out. We'll go double D-line this game. It's just too strong. Um, Who do I have? I need a QB. And... Either a receiver or another defensive back. So they did take Patrick Sertan, who was one of the better ones in this entire game. Looked like Chris McAllister is literally just a downgrade. Sean Williams. This dude was getting all of the picks in NFL Street, too. That is... I want to take a gamble on him since he did so well in NFL Street, too. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, Keyshawn Johnson. I forgot about him. Oh, well. Uh, We just played with Bledsoe. I don't kind of want to play with him again. Not because I don't like him. I just want to mix up the content. Drew Brees, the different Drew. All right. Let's run this thing. Uh, okay, we'll go courthouse. Why not? <clears throat> All right, here we go. That's right, I got pick first, so they got ball first. Let's see what happens. In the backfield, love it. Great way to start the game. All right, guys, so let's get into the meat and potatoes of what's been going on, because I don't want this video to be too long. So Thursday, I had the opportunity to show a property for another agent, um, and that paid 50 bucks. so that was great. But, um, then... It worked out because right after that, I had the opportunity to drop a sign and a lockbox off for another agent that um, wanted some help, and that paid 100 bucks. So in two hours, basically, I had made $150, and then I had a third opportunity come up. Literally, like, they all came in succession as I was finishing up each one. I had an agent that was out of town. Say, hey, I need you to basically open a door and show this client a property. So I had another showing, um, and that paid 50 bucks. Oh, what a sack. Yeah, baby. I love that animation. I love dancing on him. I knew there was an animation coming. He drove him in the dirt. So essentially, I made 200 bucks. And like three and a half hours when you factor in like drive time and everything. So that was great, right? That was Thursday. Awesome. Cool. Doesn't get much better than that. Whatever, right? Well, yesterday comes, Friday. And had another real estate opportunity come up where 
Oh, we got this easily. Charles. Yep. Oh, I thought he had that for a second. I was going to be pissed off. I going to say, no way Charles and this Williams dude is on him. Sean Williams, I think. I was going to say, there's no way we don't get this. Oh, he ripped it out of his hands almost. And then Charles threw him to the dirt while Sean grabbed it. That's great. That's amazing. I don't know. I felt like Keyshawn should have had that. He jumped for it, I guess, faster than me. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Forgot we were on the the goal line there. And now what? We're on the one? No, okay. We got a little bit of room. Lead block. Lead block. Nice. Power through. Whatever. We'll take it. We just need some room. Yep, shove him off. Nice block, Drew. Nice. Tackled in for a touchdown. What was I saying, man? Yeah, so Thursday I made that quick, easy money. <sighs> Friday, Friday. What kicked all of this off? Because Friday kind of sucked. What kicked all of this off? What was it? It was something important. Aha, I remember. So I had a lease lead get in touch with my mentor, and um, he actually listed the lease. So in Texas, you can't represent both sides. So since he had listed it, um, oh, wow, a stolen pitch. They're so rare these days. Oh, my God. Since he had listed it, obviously he can't help her for um, – Oh my God, Troy, you're nasty, dude. He bounced off of you like a bouncy ball. Yo, Troy Hambrick is, is insane in this game. That's crazy. This team is honestly stacked. Like these are a bunch of probably B plus, B minus players even. And this, this team is, is doing hot. So when that uh, lease lead reached out to the mentor who listed it, he just texted me and said, hey, obviously I can't represent her because I'm representing the owners of this house. Do you want this lead? And I said, hell yeah, I want this lead. So we got through the showing and I explained kind of um, the basics of agency and how things work and if she worked with me, what I would do for her and how I get paid and all of that jazz. And um, called my mentor because I was like, hey, she didn't sign right away. She said she'd think about it. And I just got a little pissed off because he was like, well, you probably scared her away. And now it's been making me question myself. Um, and it made me question myself all night. So much so to the point that I was like, well, I'm already in Frisco. I love Frisco. I love any part of Texas is that is not the area that I'm from. So let me go ahead and let me go ahead and while I'm down here showing already, why don't I just go to a bar and um, see what it's like down here for different areas to drink and eat because I, I don't really go out much back there because I don't live there. What a pick. He did it again. He did it again. Sean Williams did it again. Street one and street two. The guy's nuts. So, yeah, since I don't live down there and I don't like much of the stuff up here. Whew, that was lucky. I decided I was going to go check out that bar, which was fine. I spent more than I should have. I spent about 40 bucks, which is fine. But if I had left it alone there, I would have been fine. But I didn't. So I drove home. Then I went to another bar, a popular one in this area that I had never been. Troy! 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 Oh, oh my god. Fight 
Oh! Dude, Patrick Sertan is getting disrespected this game. Straight up. He has not had one good play. Yo. We're really about to get this shut out. This is an underrated team, bro. These are the players you need if you get them on a pickup game. Oh, my God. This entire team is putting in work. This man caused the fumble and picked it up. Nah, Troy deserves this run. The man is straight gross with it. That's nah, easy. 40 to nothing. Perfect game. The shutout. Yo, their best player was Jeremy Newberry, the offensive lineman. The one sack and a tackle. We had Troy Hambrick with one of everything, at least. A tackle, a receiving touchdown, a defensive touchdown, and three rushing touchdowns. Oh, my God. We're going to play another, guys. I'm having way too much fun. This time we're going to do a quick game, though. And I'm going to go random on who gets the ball. Okay. I kind of want to challenge, so I'm going to go not ball first. One, two, three. One. Okay. One, two, three. All right, Bucks and the Jags. By the way, the three random only counts for um, regular NFL teams, none of the special teams. And if it lands on the team I have, then I don't count that either, so... Had a few people curious about that. I've actually never played with the 49ers in this game. I don't think I've ever played with them. Um, oh, they had two great running backs. Okay. I guess one was a halfback and one was a fullback. Mm, he's got a little bit better running power. He's a little bit more agile. They're both average speed. Terrell Owens. Oh, I'm sorry. He gets pissed when you say it like that. Terrell Owens. This is not a bad team, actually. I don't know why I've never played with them. Oh, I have three now. I don't need that. You know what? I'll just get rid of Jeremy. I know he's like, every time I've played against the 49ers, he's on the team, but I'll just get rid of him. Double D-line, as always. Oh, who am I missing, man? A receiver? No. Not a defensive back. Oh, it's a linebacker, isn't it? Too bad. But I should have stopped right there, guys. Getting back to that story um, yesterday, Friday night. I should have stopped. I should have, after that bar, went home, saved my money. Been fine. Went to a popular, oh, I'm sorry, let me back it up even further. Came home, went to meet my cousin at Red Lobster. We had a few drinks. That was fine. That only, only cost me like $14. So then I should have absolutely stopped. $40 at the last bar because I tipped $10. So 40 plus 15 should have stopped right there at $55. But I didn't. Are you kidding me? I didn't catch that, dude. <sighs> So whatever, I'm down 55 bucks, but I should have absolutely stopped right there. What does my dumbass do? I go to another bar, a very popular dive bar in this area that I've never been to, that I've heard good things about, that my cousin recommended, and guys, I spent like another $60 in drinks there. Come on, Terrell. Whatever. Who cares? Fourth down. Ugh, fourth and a mile. Okay, we've got this, I hope. That works.
Ha! <laughs> what a pass. What a catch. Easy. Okay. Just wanted to focus up there. Yeah. Yeah, we're just steamrolling today. It's going to be one of those days, guys. Yeah, I spent quite a bit more money there. And then, at that point, I'm pretty drunk. So I go to the gas station, and I spend, like, another 20 bucks on just junk food. And then I'm low on gas, right? So then I spend another, like, 35 bucks on filling my tank up. Uh, and I effectively have, uh, I don't know, nowhere near enough money now in my bank account. And what the issue, the real issue is, it's not the money. It's the fact that I was going to have enough to switch car insurance and to pay my bills. And now I don't. And now, like, it's it's nobody's fault but mine. I'm the one that f***ed up. I think I uh, live my life in according to the money I used to make. I used to make a lot of money. And so I'm still living life like I make that money and I don't and it's hard to break out of that spending cycle I get it most Americans you know most Americans spend money that way still oh man nice pick most Americans spend money like that though they don't like to live within their means they like to barely make it and um I don't know, man. The income is an issue until real estate takes off, but the spending is still just as big of an issue. I think my problem, too, is that I'm going to spend money regardless of what my income is. So I'm kind of like Ric Flair in that sense. Oh, man. Ric Flair. <laughs> spend X amount of money. I got to make X amount of money more just because I was spending that money regardless. I don't know. I'm just... I know I definitely have money issues, and man, as soon as I, like, as soon as I started feeling like I was going to get a financial breakthrough, and I started to get some, I blew it, right? So last night sucked for that reason and that reason alone. It didn't help that I couldn't talk to anyone at the bar, because I stayed there till they closed. Like, nobody was approachable. They were all f messing with each other. There were literally guys hopping off of different chicks all night. There were girls walking around to different guys all night. And then there's me. No friends. No one to talk to. And, uh... Just sitting around, socially awkward, around the bar, trying to figure out how I could approach someone to talk to them. It's just weird, dude. Like, when you don't have friends, like, how do you just go up to people at a bar it's weird you don't want to be a weirdo the guys didn't like it because they were with their girls and the girls didn't like it because you get looked down as a creep i don't know i just wasted money last night and time to be honest i should have prepared better um i was supposed to have an open house today but i had to cancel it because i was so hung over and like literally wasting money wasting time and Drinking all had a negative <laughs> impact on my life. Who would have knew, huh? That was sarcasm, obviously. Ah. Well, that's what we get for not using the game breaker. So I'd be a little bit more pissed off about that. Um, but I'm not. Because I got... Um, actually... Oh, he clipped me. Okay. I guess I'll just run it in with the Game Breaker, whatever. I got uh, two leads today. One that texted me on Facebook, so that was great. I always love when leads come to you. Um, only because it signifies that 
you're in business and people know you're in business and that you're being found somehow, some way. Oh, dear God. The issue with uh, leads that come to you, at least from what I've found, is that if it's not referral based, then they probably came to you because no other agent would or could help them. And I don't mean that rudely. It's just usually there's an issue to where they can't actually get what they want in terms of real estate. And so they came to you hoping that it would change. Kind of like the definition of insanity, right? So uh, we'll see. I hope that uh, this lead works out. That messaged me today. Um, But we'll see, man. And I potentially potentially have another lead from that listing in Frisco that I mentioned earlier. Someone had uh, viewed the property on Realtor.com, and my mentor, the guy that gave me the the uh, lead from from yesterday, Friday. He uh he got a notification saying somebody was interested in that property. So I'm going to reach out to him in a minute. We're going to end this long video with some Street 2 gameplay. So give me one second. All right, guys. We're going to end it with Street 2. We're going to play some um, mini games, man. The mini games in this game are so fun. So we'll go first to... First to 20 points per round, elimination style. NFL players only. Uh, Let's see. Terrell Owens, once again. All right, we'll go EA Field. Why did he go for that ball? Whatever, man. So, yeah, guys. In essence, don't do what I do. Don't waste your time, money, and efforts. Um, every time I think I've got it under control or that I've got something good going, I find a way to ruin it. So don't be like me, man. Learn from my mistakes. That being said, though, we're all flawed. We all have issues, and... uh Man, as much as I mess up and I tell you don't be like me, I also aspire to be a beacon of hope to show people that, you know, you can do whatever you set your mind out to do. You can be whatever you want to be. And um, this channel is proof of that, man. I've been wanting to do YouTube for a while. I didn't really know how to get into it, like most things, but I eventually figured it out. And we started the channel in uh, early January. Oh, there's a double elimination. That's crazy. Oh, boy. Guys, you really can do whatever you want in this world. I'm not saying it's easy, but I'm saying it's possible. And uh, if you take anything away from this video, again, just know you can do whatever you set your mind out to do. Um, and it gets better. Like, life just takes time. I've got a tattoo on my wrist that says that, actually. I've got a tattoo that says life takes time. And it's true. Life just takes time. Things just take time to happen. But with that being said, guys, I'm looking at the timer on my recording software, and we are sitting at just under 42 minutes, so I'm going to get out of here. Again, let me know what you want to see. Like, comment, subscribe. What videos do you want to see? Tell me about it. Tell me about your days. All right, guys. As always, peace out.